moving on, we have Matthew Kornberg, the founder and CEO of Corsa. Matthew? Hi. Hi. I'm Matt, and I'm a recovering accountant. <laughs> Back when I worked in an office all day, I discovered the power of beautiful and exotic drinks to transport me to a happier place, which is like a vacation in a bottle. So that's where I got the idea and decided to start my own line of beautiful and transporting drinks, Corsa. Corsa, which means journey in Italian, is a line of botanical tonics made with low sugar and only the finest time-tested ingredients from across the globe, allowing you to transport across time and place with every bottle. Corsa botanical tonics are entirely plant-based, from the flavor to the color to the sweetener. For example, our cola is colored with roasted barley, our orange comes from beta carotene and carrots, and our red comes from black carrots. We feature no fewer than 10 botanical extracts per flavor, ranging from citrus to florals, bitters to aromatics. With only 25 calories or less and only five grams of sugar, you can still enjoy this beautiful and exotic drink and feel great about your choice. We currently offer three flavors, each inspired by a different time and a different place. First, we have our 50s classic American cola. Then we have our 60s Dolce Vita inspired Italian orange spritz. Then we have our 70s Caribbean spice. Uh, I personally love to travel, eat, work out, and spend time in the outdoors. I found that there was no single beverage on the market that delivered the allure, the quality, and the health profile that I was looking for. Corsa solves that problem. It's for everyone, everywhere, from the cheeseburger-loving foodie to the granola yogi. It, we're currently carried in 30 influential accounts across Los Angeles, and it is our mission to connect people to people through culture and people to planet through quality ingredients. Remember, no matter where you are, Corsa is your vacation in a bottle. Thank you. Oh. Nicely done. I like. Uh, Matthew was talking about uh, Corsa being for everyone. Um, it's challenging for a brand or a product to be for everyone. But Bill, do you think uh, you know Corsa has what it takes, given that it's a refreshment beverage? Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly takes a botan botanical tonic and makes it very inviting for the consumer with the different flavors, the appearance um, of, of the brand. And so I, I really enjoyed the, the, the flavor, the taste, and the overall look and proposition of this brand. Mm -hmm. um, there were some questions about what to call a statement of identity. You know, what is this product? Is it a soda? Is it a botanical tonic? Mike, how do you approach a brand like this? And, you know, do you think it's on, on point in terms of what it is called? Yeah, I don't, I don't care what you say it is. When someone sees that bottle, they're going to be like, hey, that's an RC or something. You know, that's a soda. It, it, it looks like a soda to me. So I was, af you know, afraid that when I drank it, I was going to, you know, just be annihilated by sugar. And then I was pleasantly surprised. It also, I happen to know that the K's is really good in a Pomplona. And I, again, I was expecting that to be a very, um, you know, sugar heavy drink. And it was, uh, it was, it was very kind. I think this needs a lot of work in terms of packaging. Um, the, we're, we're really enamored of the brand here, which, you know, isn't a bad thing if you know what's in the bottle and you're saying, okay, this is a soda bottle. I love my brand, have at it. And I think, it, I think it needs a lot of work, but I do think the liquid is extraordinary. All right, Fred, um, there, again, there was a lot of talk about, you know, what this brand looks like. Um, everyone seemed to like what it tasted like, you know, did you like the taste and you feel like it aligned with the actual liquid itself? Yeah, I, I love the taste. I think each one of these is very unique. Um, the branding is great. It's extremely aspirational. I think that aspiration can take you to a place of curiosity and thus wanting to try these. I agree with Mike's point. It does look like a soda, but I think there are a lot of other cues that speak to something elevated. So I, I might have a general frame of mind, um, and then that is kind of pivoted with a lot of the graphics. I think it's very kind of luggage. Um, sticker inspired each of these different places, the cola, the spritz, the K's, they each have their own sub-branded personality. Um, but to Mike's point, if it is, uh, if I'm intuiting that it is soda, I'd rather see a sugar call out than a calories call out on the front panel. And currently it's calorie oriented. Polina, in terms of, you know, how uh, course is marketed, um, would you be more interested if this was called a soda than a botanical tonic? Or do you think that uh, as an investor, you'd be more interested in investing in a product that calls itself a tonic and not a soda. 
Um, I don't think that it would make a difference. I think the brand is cool. I think, to your point, um, the low cal or the sugar call out would be much more important for me to see. Hey, it's Ray Latif with Taste Radio. If you like what you just saw, hit subscribe and ding the bell. You'll be happy you did.